Hello guys, and today I'm, I've come to try some vegan food. Now I'm not actually a vegan, but I thought I would try it. Now, actually it's not quite true, I've already done it before, but um, I'm just going to pretend I've tried it. This is the first time I've tried it, even though it's a complete load of rubbish. I have tried this before, so don't worry. Uh, it's just like on the telly, they say they've tried it before, but they haven't. But, um, right now, firstly this is a loaf of bread. It's basically cheap Tesco's um, bread. It's the cheapest I could find. It's about 45p. I have that for myself. My mum has butter bread, don't worry. Um, and it says here that it's suitable for vegans. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but yeah. Just a minute, where is it? states. Oh dear, very hard. It's suitable for vegans, there you go. It's just a warning it's about plastic bags. Right, okay. I also have some dark chocolate hazelnut spread. And on here, I think my computer's running very slow, but I just have to pull up with it. So if this picture looks horrible, I'm sorry, just pull up with it for once. Um, here it also says that it's suitable for vegans somewhere. Yep, dark chocolate and hazelnut vegan spread. So it says dark chocolate. and hazelnut vegan spread okay and it's got here it says it's got mentions it's vegan it says no palm oil responsible cocoa sustainable sources and 16% hazelnuts now I don't know what any of that means but never mind so and I'm now, this is where everything's going to go wrong. In here, I've got a biscuit, uh, sorry, I've, not a biscuit, isn't it? a sweet tin. But I'm just doing this just so I could easily bring it up. Without everything going everywhere, which I'm sure it will. In here, um, I'm going to, I've got two slices of bread already. Uh, just to save me getting it out again. Um, then I also have another magic ingredient which I'm assuming is vegan it's bound to be and that is a cucumber now this is what's left of a cucumber it's not an actual fully full cucumber it's just what's left of a cucumber okay because I already had some of it so now I'm gonna take a plate out this is where it's all gonna go wrong and I'm going to open up the this so inside you can see this is the chocolate spread I've already used some of it okay and I'm going to put some of the chocolate spread onto the knife like that and I'm going to move this over a plate yeah, it's starting to drip it's starting to drip on the plate I actually put it just over not quite what I wanted to do but I'm going to spread some of that So I'm going to spread it onto the bread. It's much easier to do it if I filmed it differently, but this is the easiest way I can record it. So I'm going to scrape some of it off. I don't need to do all of it, just a lot of it. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to now move over to the other one. So. I'm going to concentrate on the other one. Um, and I'm going to put some more onto the knife. Okay, so I found if there's a way of stopping it from um, dripping too much. You just keep turning it round. 
a bit like spaghetti. Then, I mean, I can do it easily if it, I wasn't filming it, but you know, it's like a lot of things. If you're filming something, it always goes terribly badly. So that's that. Now, I probably should have done the next bit first, but I'm now going to dry this out on the bread. So I'm going to use the side of the bread to pretty much um, use it. Won't matter because by the time I've done what I want to do, it will. Done that. I'm just going to basically put the lid back on. So it makes a mess everywhere. And the next thing I'm going to do is get out the um, cucumber. So now. I'm going to take out a lot of the cucumber and I'm going to put that on a part of the plate here and I'm going to try and I guess it's quite easy to do this normally but I'll try to do it when you're filming so now I've got a slice of cucumber I'm going to put that on the bread another one I'm going to do about four of these so and there's the other one that's two so far now do another couple that's the third one and finally I'm going to put a fourth one on. I know these are getting slightly small because of the oh it is but you know that's what I'm going to do so now I have four slices of cucumber on there I'm going to put the cucumber back so it's only a little bit but you know I just worry about this later okay I did keep the cucumber in the, fri in the fridge okay so Right, there you go. You now have um, the sandwiches ready. So the sandwiches are almost ready. So I know the the crust is starting to pick off, but you know it's difficult when you're filming. So now all I have to do is put this slice on top of that. I know as I said the crusts are going a bit funny, but never mind. It's just because I'm it's truthfully cheap bread it's about 45 pence of the oath, which is the cheapest i can find to be and that isn't that's actual full price you know it's not you know if it's expired or anything like that or about to expire well if it had expired they would probably be in trouble and they'd probably get arrested well not quite but they did won't have a problem where they were or the test case would find a lot of money because they had some outdated stock in the shop store and had to actually I think pay several million pound I think uh, if off the top of my head at least one million I think I can't remember now it was a lot of money they had to pay as a fine and um, because of it and so I can't remember the whole lot uh, oh by the way um, also um, I know I probably should have showed you earlier but um, this is also out of date it's supposed to be the um, up in March it's a best full date it's currently um, the 31st of July um, what's happened recently um, well there's basically a court case about um, the Mayor of London trying to force everybody to pay a fine if they don't have essentially an electric vehicle or some sort of vehicle that's very um, good for the environment. I don't know, something called ULES. Um, some, I think um, some members of Parliament or somebody took him to court some, and basically the Mayor won. Um, also, um, 
There's been a lot of talk about the Barbie film going on recently, about a film about, um, and I wouldn't really have known much about that, and a lot of people, it seems to have um, smashed box office records or something, or it has, I think, the soundtrack or something like that. Um, and what else has been going on? Um, and basically the Twitter logo has been changed to an X by Elon Musk. Uh, he's made the company do it. Now, I know everybody knows that now, but I couldn't possibly have known things like that in March, okay? So it proves that I really am eating it today, okay? A little more, just see if there's a quick news story I can bring up. Um... And it says, uh, and there's a story about, um, there's quite a few. I mean, there's one about, um, about our Prime Minister setting out an energy plan in Scotland or something like that. There's also um, a story about a midwife who was sacked for claiming that baby milk could be poisonous um, even though it's not if it was bought um, on the ground somebody might have tampered, people might have tampered with it. Um, Also, there's stuff about, um, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm too lazy, to, it's quite late at night, it's actually about half foot five in the morning, to be completely honest with you. And I'm trying to look for anything positive, which a lot of news is normally negative, but anyway, so, um, I did, I did say, it said that the Barbie soundtrack broke um, UK music chart records and um, also, oh yes, Kevin Spacey was also um, found innocent of all the charges um, in a London court. I couldn't have known that would happen way back in um, March, okay? As at the time, it didn't look as if it was going to go his way, but it seems that it has gone all his way, both in America and here so far, and maybe he'll get his career back. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm going to eat it, okay? Now, it's what a pleasant surprise for me. If I thought cucumber would taste disgusting, that was my idea, I just had some left. And so I um, used it up in the salads and I just had some left. I thought, well, what have I got? I thought, well, I'll just try it in some, um, chocolate spread sandwiches. And I was actually quite surprised. And this actually tastes quite nice, to be honest. So, it adds some juiciness to the, um, chocolate spread, which might otherwise have made it a bit more drier, you know? Don't knock it till you've tried it, okay? Now, in the past, I've just accidentally, I say accidentally, because sometimes i bought things from the supermarket, and I got them if I got a vegan copy of it. And that was why it was, nobody was buying it, because they truly taste disgusting. Um, I mean, I'm not m mocking vegans, I respect what you're doing. I, sp I respect what vegans are trying to do regarding ethics and things like that, but my honest opinion on this is if you want to go vegan and eat, eat vegan food, at least eat something that t 
taste like whatever it is you're supposed to be eating, not like peas which are meant to taste like an egg. You know, eat peas which are meant to taste like peas or something, you know? So, there's nothing in here that's trying to taste like anything other than it is. I mean, it's chocolate, it's trying to taste like chocolate. Because it's dark chocolate, there's no milk in it. So, that's why it's vegan. Most people prefer milk chocolates. I actually prefer dark chocolate, believe it or not, for lots of things. Especially on biscuits and things like that, so there you go. Um, so, this is a great snack which probably no one else has thought of. I'll probably go on the internet now and find out that absolutely everybody eats it, but, you know. Um, But for me, um, you know, I've never heard of it before, so it's just my idea. But, you know, someone else may have already thought of it before me, I don't know. So, now, as I said, this is our idea of a cucumber, which is totally smooth. I'm aware that there are some people who have other kinds of cucumbers in other countries, what they call a cucumber, which has doesn't have a smooth skin like ours does. But you know, I'm not an expert on those, okay? I can't believe I've spent sixteen minutes talking about making a sandwich. If I hadn't been filming this, I would have made it by now. Infinite, made and eaten it by now, but there you go. I did this specifically because I thought it was an idea nobody probably thought of. And unlike most vegan food, I think it's tasted absolutely disgusting. And because I'm just trying to be something it never will be. Or those learning grant English also more like we more like say it will never be, okay? This doesn't try to pretend for something it isn't. It's actually a lot more taste than I thought, so another thing to bear in mind for those trying to save money, if you don't want much to go down the cucumber route or you can lose like one day. Um, hazelnut spray, you don't need to put in the fridge, so you don't have to put the bread in the fridge, you don't have to put the hazelnut and chocolate chop chop spray in the fridge actually tell you to um, just store it in, store in a cold dry place, away from direct sunlight so you could just put this in the cupboard so and people are poor and can't afford the electric then I could survive probably on this chocolate spread and um, and bread now I know that you it helps to put cucumber in your food, I think, after you've opened it, but in theory, it's not an absolute must, so if you're kept in a cool place, you might get away with it, so, you know, those who, but then again, if you couldn't afford a fridge, to run a fridge on the electric or something, you probably couldn't afford to be on the internet to watch this, so there you go.
Japan bar, so that's that. Mm, that's the point. Okay, so there you go, guys. Dark chocolate and hazelnut spread with cucumber sandwiches. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.